There are so many levels to gaming. Back in the day, you had 720p, which was considered HD, and 1080p was the king of all gaming. Mind you, this was back in 2009. Moving into today's space, you've got 1080p, 2K or 1440p, and 4K being what people want to use the most. And when it comes down to gaming, usually people are always pushing for high resolutions at a higher refresh rate. People build their entire PCs to push the upper echelon of those frames and buy the latest gaming consoles. But what a lot of people don't know is that the world's professional gamers actually play in 1080p, and today I'm actually going to be doing the same. Now my friends over at KTC sent me out a high refresh 1080p monitor to see if the pros are actually right, and they also sent me a second one to give away to one of you watching, so stick around to find out more. I'm also going to be reviewing this monitor from a gamer perspective from somebody who plays both casually as well as super competitive in Overwatch Top 500, or at least I was in Top 500. Swapping from 1440p might be a challenge, but after deranking heavily by one tricking Lifeweaver in Overwatch, I'm gonna try and claw myself back into Grandmasters with this monitor. Okay, so why the hell are the professionals playing at 1080p, and why am I swapping as well? Well, believe it or not, the way professionals see their monitors is not the same us filthy casuals see our monitors. When we game, chances are most of us are looking for a couple things. Does the display look good? perhaps a high refresh rate, alongside a good build and a rich feature set. Pros on the other hand, their monitor is literally just a tool. They're looking for a high refresh rate, low response time, and a crispy image. And typically in esports, players will have a 1080p display at 24 inches to keep a high PPI, which gives a clean image. In this case, 1080p on a 24 inch display gives you a PPI of 92. But not only is 24 inches the go-to for PPI and clarity, it's also the preferred size simply for reactionary reasons. When gaming dead on, you can actually see your entire screen while moving your eyes less. And yes, even something as small as that means a lot to the professionals. And with today's hardware, it's a whole lot easier to push high frames at 1080p across different system configurations and of course, it's a lot less likely you're going to have CPU throttling, drop frames, or any sort of other graphical issues. And in my case, my tool is this 24-inch 1080p monitor from KTC, which is the H24T09P. Yes, that's a mouthful. This is spec'd with 165Hz refresh rate, a 1 millisecond response time, HDR10 support alongside both AMD FreeSync and NVIDIA G-Sync. For ports, we do have two HDMI 2.0s, two display ports, as well as a headphone jack. In the box, you've got the power adapter, an HDMI cable, and the stand itself. It's all super basic, and setting it up is super easy as well. With the included key, you simply tighten the base into the stand, and you're good to go. And in terms of build and aesthetic, this is actually how I prefer it. It doesn't scream gamer by any means. It is all black with a minimal vibe, apart from some basic red accents on the back end. Overall, no complaints. It's also wildly lightweight, so if you ever are traveling with a monitor, it's definitely easy to move about, although I don't think many people are doing LAN parties nowadays. And and in terms of adjustability, you do only have tilt, so if you do want to get more range of motion, you're going to want to toss this on a monitor arm. There are 100 by 100 VESA holes on the back end, so it is super easy to mount after removing the stand. And overall, I'm pretty impressed with how this is put together. More competition in North America is a win for us gamers. But now that you know what I'm working with, I do want to talk about gaming on here. And I do want to start with PC gaming, mainly since this is the whole reason for me to swap from 1440p. And I mentioned it before, I foolishly deranked myself to Masters and Overwatch, and this week I'm going to be clawing myself back into Grandmasters. In terms of my rig, this is a custom PC, although it's nothing wild. I'm rocking a tired and dated RTX 2070, an i7 alongside 16 gigs of RAM. In a game like Overwatch, it's definitely easy to push out 165 hertz at 1080p as well. And jumping into my first couple games after getting used to it, I can actually see what the pros are onto. Now I can't say my system massively drops frames or stars at a higher resolution, but there's truly a rigid unwavering smoothness when pushing a solid frame rate with zero issues. Now when it comes to gaming, I can definitely say I'm rather rusty when it comes to competitive gameplay, but after warming up and clicking some bodies, I can definitely see the allure of a smaller display size. In terms of the one millisecond response time, I can say I didn't feel anything noticeable in terms of input lag whatsoever. If it's there, it's imperceptible to me at least, and I can confidently say I've been clapping 12 year olds all day in Overwatch, and I can definitely see what the pros are onto. The image on here is actually decent at 24 inches, and with the Nvidia G-Sync enabled, every frame in game is in sync with my system. The only thing bad here so far is just my aim. What isn't bad though, is me giving away one of these monitors. All you need to do is like the video, be subscribed, and let me know in the comments what you'd be playing on here. Be sure to leave me your Instagram handle. I'll only reach out through my Instagram directly, so don't fall for any scams in the comments section. Here's my IG handle, and good luck. The winner will be announced Friday, September 1st. But getting back into gaming though, I'm still a sucker for my Diablo 4. Roast me or don't, I'm still having a good time playing Season 1. Games outside of the competitive scene are still awesome. If you're creating a budget desk setup or simply getting your first high refresh monitor, I can easily see this being a good 
good option, especially for the price. And outside of PC gaming, I know a whole lot of you guys are console gamers just like myself, so if you are looking to get your first time high refresh monitor, this is definitely a place to start, especially for the price point. For myself, unlike Overwatch, I get absolutely clapped by children all day long in Call of Duty, regardless of what equipment I'm using. That said, between the PlayStation 5 and this KTC monitor, we're still getting a nice high refresh rate in HDR. I know for a lot of people who want to build out a budget desk setup, the Xbox Series S is a great option as well since it is so tiny and powerful, and it also pairs perfectly with this monitor. The high refresh titles available across Xbox Game Pass is simply incredible value on its own, and pairing it with what might be your first high refresh rate experience, these are an easy go-to. And from what I've asked you guys in the community, between 4K, 2K, and 1080p, it looks like a solid 29% of you are gaming at 1080p. Between PlayStation and Xbox, they also take full advantage of the HDR, 1 millisecond response time, and since both are rocking that AMD CPU, you've got AMD FreeSync. And if you are into competitive games on console, again, for the price point, this is definitely a good place to start. Now, in terms of the other features this monitor has, it's all within the menus. If you like to tinker with your color profiles, you can customize all of your settings. Apparently, pros play with a little less color, but I personally like to bump the saturation. You also have preset profiles depending on what you're doing with this monitor. For myself, I'm using the FPS2 profile. I'm not entirely sure, but it actually looks brighter. And again, I just bumped up the saturation a bit. For gamer specific features, you can have a gaming timer if you do need it alongside an FPS counter. Across any monitor, I actually really dig built-in crosshairs, particularly when playing Call of Duty. COD guns are simply wild for recoil, and since I suck, I need all the help I can get. And what I love about monitors coming out nowadays is that you get such a rich feature set for such an affordable price. And for myself, the main thing I ever look for in my monitors is a high refresh rate and a low response time. And if you haven't jumped into high refresh gaming yet, definitely consider 1080p since it more than does the job. For myself, I'll keep trying to claw my way back into Grandmasters and Top 500 if I can ever stop being bad. And don't forget about the giveaway, just let me know what you'd be gaming on this monitor with. Be sure you're liked and subscribed, and I'll be picking a winner on September 1st. Till next time.